What's up guys? I wanted to take a few minutes in this video to talk about holsters and actually show you guys something that I'd recently gotten in. What you see in front of you here is my Safari Land Level 3. Uh, this is more of a duty style holster that is out there on the market. I typically wear this holster when I am here on my property. I will use it for when I am having my classes. Uh, some of you guys, have maybe if you've taken one of my classes, you've probably seen me wearing this holster and that is simply because of the retention uh, this is typically a little bit larger of a holster than what you would wear for concealed carry again this is a duty holster I mean there's law enforcement officers that will carry this style holster and uh, there again this being a more of a duty holster I wanted to take a few minutes in this video to show you something that I literally just got in and that is the Safari Land Solace and we're gonna go ahead and open this up because I want to get this package out of the way and get rid of some of that glare. And of course, this is more of a concealed carry style holster. Uh, you do get a bunch of accessories with it. I'm just going to go ahead and get everything out and then we'll go through it here, guys. Okay, you can see here uh, that they do package it quite well. And I will put links down in the description for any of you guys that are interested in checking one of these out. Of course, this is for the Glock 19 non-light bearing. Now, you can get these for a light bearing gun as well as one that has an optic. Uh, you know, and of course, you've got your book. You've got some accessories. You can get it either with a paddle style or you can get the, um, you know, the belt loops accessories to go along with it. Of course, that's how it comes here. Now, of course, this is my Glock 45. This is a gun that I very regularly carry. And, of course, being a gun, uh, a holster that is designed for the 19, this is naturally going to work for the Glock 45 as well. Uh, you can see there, it fits in there just fine, and you do get that retention. Again, this is going to work more for concealed carry. You can just see the difference in how far off of the body these two holsters are. You can see here the level three, it's obviously it's going to be much wider than what something like this is going to be. And of course, with that retention, you know, it's very easy to draw that gun. The way uh, you would do that, of course, is simply run your thumb down here. This is the ALS lever here simply depress that and then draw that firearm okay very very nice and of course if i had an optic on this firearm you can see here there is plenty of clearance for an optic i mean it just fits in there with no problem whatsoever uh, this is probably going to be one that i actually start using i do use several different holsters depending on how i dress and if you are a concealed carrier you are going to get a collection of holsters and if you are going to get a holster you need to make sure that it is a good one and of course this is a very nice one we all know about safari land they are very well known as far as their quality and of course this solus design you can kind of see that compared to some of their others you know it is just a very very nice design Okay, I'm really glad to have this holster, glad to get it in. And of course, Safari Land did send me this, uh, just in full disclosure. But, you know, there again, I have bought other stuff from them, you know, well before they sent me this one holster. Uh, you know, this I bought, I don't remember how long ago it's been that I bought it. I've been using it for quite some time, and it works very well. You know, with the level three retention, if uh, you can see there. I have both the ALS as well as the strap. And then something like this, of course, you are going to need basically a couple of movements to get it out. You're going to depress that lever, move that forward, and then you have the ability to release that ALS and then draw the firearm. Okay, But they're not all known as being great holsters. Safari Land, again, has made holsters for years. Uh, primarily used by law enforcement and others, and of course, as well as by concealed carriers. Okay, but guys, this is just a quick overview that I wanted to do, a quick unboxing, just to show you guys this holster. Uh, you'll probably be seeing it in future videos. I'm going to have it out on the range, using it some. I'm going to be carrying it some, and uh, just enjoying it. 
you know, and that's why we want to use quality stuff. We want good holsters, we want good firearms, we want our tools to work. And that's why when you're going to invest in a holster, invest in a good one. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Leave me a comment down below uh, and check out all of the links down in the description. Again, I'll put links to these holsters. In fact, I'll put links to both of these down there in the comments. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.